Hello, welcome back to another edition of Dose Survival. As you know, I'm Bear Stoves. I have 20 years of outdoor experience. I'm a retired Eagle Scout and a survival expert. As you know, I'm Wes. I'm military trained, expert hunter, and also a survival expert. This episode of Dose Survival, we'll be teaching you how to survive in the vast lands of the Middle Bar Rockies. In this land, there are dangerous insects, dangerous reptiles, and in some cases, the hunter can become the hunted. While I'm building our shelter, you'll be with Wes while he gathers some food. That serves the rare goldfish tree. But here's a hazard. This is what causes a lot of people to die each year in the Middle Bar Rockies. See that? Original goldfish. That's very health hazardous. Very deadly to your immune system. Kill you in an instant. Pretty nice, huh? I'll show you around. Over here, we got some cabinets. You know, so we can store any food that sh that Les might come back with. We got windows to check out views. We have a ladder. This ladder leads up to where me and Les will sleep. We got some PVC piping, so we can use like so we can go to the bathroom and such. You know, being an Eagle Scout for all those years really came in handy with all of this handiwork. Come back to this crap. There. There. Les. What is this? This is our shelter. This isn't a shelter. What I do mean, you mean? Like, we have bedrooms. We have plumbing. When I come back, I expect the pipes to be silver, not plastic. The nerve. set some traps for some animals see what we can catch okay so for setting up traps here's what you gotta do gotta get a couple sticks you know some sticks this one's too long that's all good set it up like this get some leaves and then from there you are all set. That's a trap. Deploy it. We're good to go. This water, it may look safe to drink, but you have to be very careful about which water you get. Some of this water is extremely poisonous. See? These two, for example. This one, since it doesn't have a label, you can tell it's not safe to drink. We don't even want that. Plus, yeah. I got water. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. Let me get some. Don't worry. I made sure that it's fresh. Yep, you got that label? Yep. Good. Yeah. All right, let's hope my trap caught some type of animal. Whoa, there, snake. It's a king cobra, but somehow it's making a rattlesnake noise. Ready, ready, ready. Ugh. He's dead. We have hunted and killed an animal. We now have food. Glad we got food. This shelter's awful. We should move. Yeah, starting tomorrow, we'll pack our things. 
Get out of here. Bear? Is your real name Bear? No. What is it? It's Jacob. Well, my real name's not Wes. What is it? Sean. Shelter's messed up. It's time for us to move out. the whole day for walking which is not bad I mean we need to find a new shelter because without shelter we're dead and we have the food and supplies to last us maybe even another day of just straight walking so it's all right Probably gonna take us all day to climb up this hill. After the day of walking, we got to the place we wanted to. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna try and build us a new shelter. While Jacob builds a shelter, I'm gonna go get some food. We're running low. Oh, what can we have here? See this tree? This little tree right here? That, sir, is a cheese it tree. What's good about cheese it trees is that they fall easily. And that's good because the Cheez-Its of the Cheez-It three only grow at the top. So I got myself a lot of Cheez-Its here. First things first, the Cheez-Its, you just can't eat them. You gotta check them. You gotta cut them in half. If the inside matches the color of the outside, then they're good to eat. In this case, they do. So we're eating Cheez-Its tonight. This is how you build a shelter. You gotta find a nice, Good side, sturdy stick, and you want to come over like this, get it in the ground, and just lean it up. Look at this. That is what I call a shelter. I know, it's nice. Way better than the other one. I put a lot of hard work into it. Like you got that triangle form. Mmm. Spacious. We're not going to be crammed like that last one. That's quality. Mm. been cut short anyway. We're following the right path and we found power lines. Power lines mean civilization. Let's get out of here. 